Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm gonna show you a SolidWorks quick tip to help you perfectly match colors to your customer's specifications. So in the old days, if we had a shelf like this and we wanted to match this up to our customer's logo, let's say we have a customer here called Furniture Store, a very clever name for their furniture store, and we wanted to perfectly match the legs, so the legs of our SolidWorks model to match this color, kind of like a blue-green here of the furniture, of the F in furniture, what I would do is I would go in here to the eyedropper tool in my photo editing software, and then I would click on that letter F, and here you see we've got that blue-green kind of down here below, and then I would be able to extract information like maybe the hex code or maybe the RGB values, RGB here, and now you can see that I've got 0, 115, 131 for that RGB. So then I could go over to this leg here. Let's say maybe I'll get all the legs here. And then I could go into the appearance for that body. And I could match up that RGB value. So here you see we've got our R, which is uh, 0. And then we've got our B here, our, our G here, which is 115. And then our B here, which is 131. All right, and that certainly works. You can see here now that the color of the legs is matching up with that kind of blue-green. And I did this many times for many years to try to match up with customer specifications. But what's really cool is that in the newer builds of SolidWorks, what you can do is you could go to one of your components in the tree or a face or an entire part. You can go here to appearance, you can go to body or face or the entire part. And then what you can do is you can use this tool. So here you see we've got this tool, it's like an eyedropper tool. And we can just take that tool and left mouse button and drag. And this is kind of the main thing I wanted to show you from this tip is that the way you get this tool to activate is you left mouse button, you drag it, and then you kind of move it over. So left mouse button and drag, you move it over something on the screen. And as you move over that something on the screen, you'll see that that eyedropper is picking up on that color. So anything that shows up on the screen here. So let's say I wanted that top shelf to match this color here of stores, kind of like mustard yellow. So I left mouse button drag then I let go and now look at that that color has been applied here the color has been applied here on the model so we see the color showing up here and then we also see it here on the model so we hit the green check mark and look at that look at how easily we were able to apply those colors now there's a couple of different applications where this might come up you might be trying to match the customer logo you also might be trying to match the customer rendering or maybe an existing part this might come from a customer photograph it might come from an online catalog you know it doesn't matter where it comes from the point is if you just bring it up on the screen here in the background you could easily select this component or components you could go in here to appearance you could go to body and then you can left mouse button and drag this eyedropper onto one of the legs now because this is a photograph or a rendering you'll notice that there is some gradient here on the leg so you know kind of take your time this is more of like a darker pink this is more of a lighter pink so take your time to try to figure out which one you want you probably want the lighter side of that uh, of that shadowing so we left mouse button drag we let go and now look at that that pink has been applied down here and we see that pink being applied here on the legs so now we could do the same thing with these shelves. So I could pick shelf one and shelf three here, and then I could go into my appearance. So the way I'm doing this, I'm picking one, and you see this uh, context menu shows up. I'm holding control, I'm picking the second one, then I'm letting go of control, and then I go into this flyout menu here for appearance, and then you choose body or the entire part or face if you're over a face. You can pick different things from this menu here that shows up underneath the appearance beach ball. So I'm gonna go to body, and then I'm gonna left mouse button and drag here, drag this here over onto this orange. Again, I'm gonna probably opt to get more on the lighter side of that orange. So the lighter side of that shading and boom, there we go, that orange is applied. And then I'm gonna pick shelf two and shelf four and I'm gonna go into this flyout menu here, choose body. And then I'm gonna use this little eyedropper here, left mouse button and drag. And I'll drag that onto say this component here. So there we go. Now we've got that same coloring right there. 
So I think this functionality was added in SolidWorks 2021. I'm using SolidWorks 2022 in this example. And uh, if you're using one of these newer builds of SolidWorks, check out this functionality. It can be a really nice time saver and it can really make it easy for you to match up with the colors from the customer rendering or from the photograph or from their customer logo, or if they give you like a color swatch that you need to match up with. This can really make that process easy and saves a lot of manual input. So if you're enjoying learning these tips and tricks and you want to learn a lot more valuable SolidWorks tips and tricks, be sure to visit us at our training website. I've got information down below in the description and we've got a zero to hero training course on there where you can learn everything you need to take and pass your official SolidWorks professional certification. Lots of good stuff on there. Check that out. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe and be sure to come back for the next SolidWorks quick tip. See you, everybody.